Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So today I want to talk about something that we all absolutely love talking about that really gets us excited and gets us moving and gets us pumped up. Practice. Woo! I know, I know, you're excited watching this, I know, I know. Practice, okay? Today, as Alan Iverson would say, we're talking about practice, okay? But here's why we're talking about practice. It's really important for us here in sales, real estate agents, we need to practice. And what got me going on a practice video was Neil Schwartz did a class recently and he had two absolutely phenomenal quotes when it comes to practice, okay? So here you go. Number one, you're paid at the level of the practice you do. Absolutely true. You're paid at the level of the practice you do. So do you wanna be paid here? Or do you want to be paid here? Paid at the level of the practice you do. Thought that was fantastic. The other one he mentioned was, our growth is determined by our willingness to practice. Are you willing to practice? Then you will be growing. I'm not willing to practice, you are not growing. Okay. Two absolutely phenomenal quotes that we need to think about when it comes to practice. Okay. But here's the other thing in regards to practice. It's another one of those things that real estate agents, salespeople think that, oh, it's below us. Other people do it in other industries, but not us, not us. It's below us. We're much better than that. We're much more sophisticated people. We don't need such things. Interesting. Now think about this. Professional athletes, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Mike Trout, Tom Brady, Roger Federer, Usain Bolt, any of these people, you know what they all do? They practice. They practice every day. That's what they do. They don't just show up on game day. What time's our game? One o'clock, great, I'll be there at 12.59, let's do this. No, they practice. They practice before the games, they practice on off days, that's what they do. And now these people are the best athletes in the world, the best in their professions, they're making millions of dollars, having all kinds of success, but you're right, you're right. What they do is not necessary for you. You're 100% right. But if you don't like the sports analogy, how about this? Actors and actresses. Denzel Washington, Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, Russell Crowe, Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts, all these people. You want to know what they do before they make a movie? They practice. They get a script, they read it, they practice it before they say action. That's what they do, they practice. But again, again, that's, that's a different industry. They you don't have to do what they do. They, don't worry, you don't want to be at their skill level. I get it, I get it, it's, it's below you, I, I get that, <laughs> okay? You gotta practice, you gotta practice to enhance your skills to be better when it's showtime, game day, all those other great things, okay? You gotta practice. So, what I wanna get into today, you hear this all the time, is practice 30 minutes a day. That's it, a half hour. The time it takes you to watch a basic sitcom, 30 minutes, I want you to practice 30 minutes a day. Okay, so we, you've heard that before, that's all I want you to do. But what we're gonna go over today is three things to make your practice even better, that way you're enhancing your skills at the highest level to be able to perform at the highest level to get more closings, which I'm guessing you want, right? That's what you want, that's our goal. So three things to enhance our practice Again, 30 minutes a day to make sure we're better. Okay, number one is this. If at all possible, practice in the morning. It makes a tremendous difference if before you start prospecting on your day, before you go on your presentations, practice. You get up, we talk about the morning routine. You get up, positive energy, you're eating well, you're exercising, positive affirmation, watching good videos, eliminating all the distractions, all the negative stuff. You get to the office, boom, hit your practice. Before you get on the phone and prospect and all these things, start practicing. Get the words out, get the energy up, get the blood flowing a little bit. Practice it, practice it, practice it. That will have a better impact on your prospecting throughout the day, get you off on the right foot, and get you going for the day, okay? So if at all possible, practice in the morning, all right? Number two is this. Practice with the same level of energy and enthusiasm you would have at a live presentation. When you're at a live presentation or you're live prospecting, you're live door knocking, whatever the case may be, your energy, you have a lot of it. You have a lot of enthusiasm. You have all of it. Practice the same way. Imagine it's a real scenario. Because remember this, 
This is a Mike Ferry quote that I wrote down one time. Poor practice, no matter how much of it you do, will not improve your skills. So if you just come in and practice it, it's, all right, you ready to do this? Okay, great. Ring, ring. Hi, this is Robert. I'm sure you figured out that your home came up on our computer as an expert. I pray to God that's not how you really do things when you're prospecting on the phone or your door knocking or something like that. All right, I'm here for your listing presentation. One of three things. What? If you go to a listing presentation like that, just stop. Stop. Just hand over your real estate license. Invest in some how-to books and go figure out a different profession. Okay? Practice at the same level of energy and enthusiasm as if you were at a live presentation. Okay? Poor practice, no matter how much you do of it, will not improve your skills. And here's the other thing, too, in regards to that. Make sure you have three to five role play partners and make sure that it's in the schedule, not Hey, oh yeah, it's my role play partner and whenever we get together, we'll do it. If I see you at the office, we'll role play. No, no, no. Monday, 8 o'clock, you're my role play partner. If we're not in the office, we're calling on the phone. Okay? Tuesday, 8 o'clock, you're my role play partner. Wednesday, 7.30, you're my role play partner. Thursday, 8, 8.30, whatever it may be. Three to five role play partners to help you role play 30 minutes a day. Okay? And here, but here's the other thing about the role play partners. Have them but be quick to fire them if they can't be counted on or they're not providing quality practice, okay? Having a role play partner, the key is that they're there. Okay, eight o'clock on Monday, you're my role play partner. All right, we're on the phone. Hello, hello, anybody there? They're not there, out and done, okay? Maybe not the first time, but if it happens consistently, they can't get, get rid of them. Hey, you know what, nothing, no hard feelings, but you're not helping me, okay? I need to find a different role play partner. Or if their role play is, Blah, 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 blah. That's not raising your level. Get rid of them. There are plenty of people out there that are want to role play. That are willing to get better at their skills. Okay. If you can't find them, let me know. I will help find them for you. I coach plenty of agents that are looking for quality role play partners. So make sure you have three to five for your 30 minutes of practice a week, but make sure that they are getting you better. And if they're not, get rid of them. Okay. There's no hard feelings here. This is business. Okay. That's, so that's going back to number two, practice with the same level of energy and enthusiasm you would have in a live presentation. And number three is this, record your practice, okay? Get a camera or get a phone and record it. Record your practice, record your listing presentation, record those things. Because look it, I imagine all of us think we sound and look better than we really do. I imagine that's the case. And then we see it, we go, holy crap. That, that's not me. That's, that's somebody must have edited that, photoshopped my head on it. That's, that's not me. Okay? We all do it, myself included. Okay? Record it. Record your practice. Record a practice listening presentation. Record a practice door knock. All those other different things. So then you can hand it over to your coach and they can review it and say, great, this is what's going well. This is what we need to work on. And then more importantly, you can see it and go, okay, if I was the client, would I go for that? Maybe, maybe not. It might be good. Maybe you'll surprise yourself and better than you think. Or maybe you're not as good as you think and you need to work on some stuff. So record it. All right. So those three things. Okay. For make sure you're practicing 30 minutes a day. But the three keys to your practice, if at all possible, practice in the morning. Number two, practice with the same level of energy and enthusiasm you would have in a live presentation. And number three, record your practice. Okay. Do those three things and you will enhance your skills at a very fast rate and you will get more closings, okay? I know, it's practice. You're better than that. No, you're not. Practice, practice, practice. All the other star people in their industries do, you need to do the same, all right? That's your three things Thursday for the week. If you have other things regarding practice that you think would be beneficial, send them my way. I'd love to hear from them. Make sure you also subscribe to my channel so that way you can see all the other videos that I post. Usually it's about two a week. Other than that, I hope you have a phenomenal week and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.